Hey guys, today I want to take you for a walk around my house here. I'm going to show you outside here. We've changed a lot of things recently. And um, I'm going to show you a little bit about what it looks like around my yard and inside my house and everything. We hang up our rakes out here. Um, and this here is, is my um, cabana here. It's got a little bit of a mess today, but then we have... Uh, hammock here and we have um the other apartments here we have this here cabana down, down below we have another house down there that's not ours and you can see we got like a little woods here and forest a lot of jungle down back and it goes back down this way it turns into a um like a river down below here and down there, it's it's pretty beautiful down there, actually. I did a video a long time ago, if you guys want to see it down there. I don't go down there too much because there's a lot of snakes down there and everything. And some of them are poisonous. But also, um, the swimming down there. And kids do go down there through the trails and stuff. And I've, I've taken walk down walks down there before in some of my older videos. And these here are all my... Um, girlfriend's plants and stuff that she brought she bought recently and we have the solar panel there and <coughs> as my famous chair I come out here to just relax at night or even during the day and I'm gonna take you inside here I got this old coca-cola sign on my door and a please knock sign well let me take you in here and I'll show you around here. And it's changed a little bit in here because we've done a little bit of work in here. And I'm gonna show you, the walls need to be clean because they get chalky from the, um, the, the, the lime and stuff that's in the cement It comes through. Even if you put anti-chalking paint on there, it blocks it a little bit, but not 100%. I mean, I got some, new pictures and stuff up here. Let me show you, show you here. So sometime this week, we're gonna, what you can see like a little bit of chalking on the wall, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna wash all that. This is a speaker that my friend Michael gave my girlfriend. And this here, I've showed this before many times. This is a 1930 toy ship set. And then you can see the Monopoly guys I got in there too. Monopoly pieces, game pieces. But these are all toys and they're on wheels. And I got the submarine there on the bottom behind the Monopoly pieces. And this here piece here, you can see if you watch, there's a um, movie out with um, Tom Hanks where he's the captain of a destroyer. And he actually uses a, um, a movie prop with that and he's chasing after submarines in the movie i can't remember the greyhounds the name of the movie is called greyhounds and if you watch the movie greyhounds look for k880 and on one of the toys it's a toy ship that his wife gives him and it he it shows him again when he's out at sea holding it again it's just kind of a cool toy but anyway and then um we got our another speaker down here and our shoe rack a fan, we never use the fan because the AC, since we got the two horsepower, we're out here, we got the pet fish there, and we got the radio, uh, Tivoli radio, and a, and a bunch of other stuff there. You know, and um, let's see. And we got, this is my father's old discharge here. It's kind of cool. And um, we got the old steamships on there. Kind of nice. That's from World War II. And you got the, the painting I painted. It's kind of cool. It's a, it's a paint by by numbers painting. A friend of mine taught me um, that paint by numbers is not meant to be painted by numbers. And if you blend it properly, it looks really, really nice. I kind of left some parts of it paint by numbers because it almost makes it look three-dimensional. Also, guys... Um, 
this is our Whirlpool refrigerator here. It's all stock full of stuff here. Um, Coca-Cola and you got the kitchen here. It's, it's a nice little area. Got all kinds of stuff up here. And we got these things for storage. And then of course we got the, the bathroom with the water heater. I'm not gonna take you in there. Everybody knows what a bathroom looks like. <coughs> but I wanna show you in here. This is the bedroom. I'm gonna shut these curtains here. Let me shut this here. And um, <coughs> this is my, my desk. I get a lot of stuff done here. And um, I got a picture here of, kind of a cool picture of David Lee Roth and um, Eddie Van Halen right in front of McDonald's back in the 70s. Kind of a cool picture. And um, I collect old baseball cards and some reproductions and stuff like that. And that's two of the, these are actually, um, that's a reproduction. It looks like a real one. And it looks like it's, it's actually graded, but it's actually a fake. Um, and this one here I bought online and it's kind of a cool card. The Honus Wagner cards, as everyone knows, there's only about 60 of them, maybe 80 tops out there. And this one here has this on the back. And the guy sold it. He says he thinks it's a reproduction, but he doesn't know where it came from. So the guy I bought it off of. So I thought that was kind of fascinating. I doubt it's real. So I didn't even bother getting it checked. Don't think it's worth it because there's so many fakes out there. But anyway... And I got my air conditioner up there for you guys that don't know. It's a 2.0 horsepower. And that 2.0 horsepower, as long as I leave the door open, a crack, it'll do the whole house. Um, you don't want to have a under, you know, like a small one. Um, because it'll just run all the time and it'll wear it out. And after a while, it'll wear out the, you know, the insides and the, and the Freon just doesn't work as well. And this one here, I notice, I actually save electricity with it. Um, I've had people tell me, no, you should just have a one in there and make it work work all the time so it doesn't turn off and on. And it, it, this here keeps it constant cool. Same temperature all the time, never changes um, that I can tell. And let me tell you something, it's been a great air conditioner for us. Since I got it, like I said, I save about 20%, 15 to 20%. And I got this picture here I bought online. Um, it's an old Indian motorcycle. My dad loved Indian motorcycles. So I put that up on the wall. Now, a lot of guys have been asking, you know, what do you do your bed bedroom all in blue, Steve? I, I just kind of, it's kind of a comfortable feeling. You know, it gives, it gives the room a comfortable feeling. So I did everything in blue. I'm actually looking for blue curtains now, which is kind of funny. I'm go probably going to put TV up on that wall. <clears throat> and I have my little shelf up here. You know, it's got my air cleaner up there and my remote control cars. And a lot of other stuff up here, you know, and just kind of, it's a comfortable place. As you can see, I have my neck air conditioner that cools your neck, and it does work. And I got my printer here and my bass speaker underneath there, subwoofer, and my other speaker right here. Um, I, I carry these ionizers with me. It lasts about 24 hours. And I'll show you this here. It looks more like a speaker or something, but it's not. It's actually an ionizer. This here, the other thing that you see here, is actually a pair of headphones. Um, and they're bone conduct conduction headphones. And I love those things. And I have another pair of air cleaners right there, as you can see. You know, and all the rest of the stuff here is just extra junk that's sitting around the room here. I got my clock up there. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys. You know, you can actually make your house look quite comfortable. It's not super fancy. It's the way I like it. Everybody has their house their way. Um, it's clean. We have this extra bed here. We use it as a sofa. Or if somebody comes and visits, we use that. And um, all this stuff, this furniture, is all made by Romnick Furniture right around here, including the, the holder for my collection there. Um, this piece of furniture, the bed has two, two drawers, very comfortable. You know, it's just, it's, it's low to the floor. Uh, this kitchen table 
all made by Romnick. Um, bed, made by Romnick. Uh, I believe that box there was also made by Romnick, and the desk was made by Romnick too. And this little cabinet was made by Romnick. Now, Romnick <coughs> is a furniture maker here in Tracy Martinez. And he does really, really excellent work, as you can see. Very reasonable. If you're looking for him, you can contact me at Stephen5975 at yahoo.com and just have, ask me for Romnick's information. And I'll give you his information. And you can have kitchen tables like this and beds made, just like my bed. My bed here, I asked him to make it higher up. And it's got the two drawers underneath, you know. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show. You know, here's my... My hat collection up here. You guys always ask about my hats. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's show.